Hey guys, I had a request uh, in the comments for the uh, Ben Hur pomegranate, which these two are not, but I wanted to show you how thirsty pomegranates can be in pots. Look how uh, dry they are. Right, so again, this is something we're learning. I water these all the time, and these are huge pots. Don't ask me how big. I don't um, measure the liters or gallons, but these are pretty close to the biggest pots you can get at our um, um, Home Depot in Australia, which is called Bunnings, big box store, and uh, they're huge, right? But they dry out fast in summer. We're in summer, and today's uh, 36 Celsius. So yesterday was 33. So it's flowering, it's fruiting, it's got some green leaves in the middle left. But I don't know how to um, keep the water up, how to keep the, the moisture up on these two guys. See it? All yellow. Now I'm going to show you two pomegranate trees that are in the ground. What's the difference? Ready? There it is, the Ben-Hur. Which is of course a lot older. The other two guys in the pots are only like three years old. This is, uh, wow, eight, nine years old, three times old, older. And there is a little yellow tinge to the leaves, but they're mostly green. It's because of the, um, the time of the day. But trust me, these are green. They're not as green as, uh, as the Agapantha here, right? Not that sort of um, shade of green, but uh, not as yellow as the potted uh, pomegranates so there it is the Ben Hur the so called champion but has been pretty much uh, uh, what's the word a no go for me because I've only had one fruit in those 8 years one one big Ben Hur and that was like five or six years ago. I can't even remember what it tasted like. So don't ask until I get some, hopefully, some fruit this year. It flowers every year. It's good at, oops, see how it fell? It's good at flowering, but the flowers drop. They drop, guys. They drop. Oh, there's another one that just came off. I just touched it. So I give it lots of, um, um, Potash, uh, manure, full sun for 10 to 12 hours a day. Wow. And, well, the trunk is big enough now to be able to find its own water. Right? It's at least three to four inches. But the problem is, as I've been saying for a while, this hedge here might be sucking the dry. This 20-year-old hedge might be uh, just taking everything out of it. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> so, I do not recommend the Ben-Hur unless you want to chance it in a better location than where this is. See how close they are? Only one meter or 1.2 meters away from each other and here is the Elsh which is around five to six years old also in the ground and also with the same green leaf with a tinge of yellow the same as the Ben-Hur almost identical right see the color this one is shaded now by the ash tree because it's uh, late afternoon but uh, this also gets 10 hours of sun every day in summer. These are summer hours I'm talking now, not winter. Because in winter these are dormant. So, this is the Elsh, which by the way has fruited at least three times in those five years or six years. And we're still waiting for the Ben Hur. It's, uh, re it's reached the height of the hedge, which is exactly. 2.5 meters yeah so he's not a baby he's not a baby anymore
and that's my neighbor's wonderful variety of uh, pomegranate and this is the one you should be buying guys this is your pomegranate of choice why um, it's fruiting like heck one two three fruit just on this branch here there's around 30 if I go around and count them all they're set there's another one there so the wonderful and guess how old this tree is you won't believe it it's not mine it's my neighbors this tree is only four years old it's younger than the Elsh it's only a year older than these two guys Wow so now you have seen four different varieties of pomegranate three in the ground um, yeah five different varieties so two in the ground and three um, hang on <laughs> three in the ground and two in pots yeah the heat's getting to me it's really hot so <clears throat> I don't know what I'm gonna do with these guys here these two here they were doing so well until uh, about a week ago when the, when the summer went like a knife summer came in and went stabbed you um, right in the pot yeah so as you can see I'll water them the water runs out see the water how it's wet so I need to find another way to keep up the water forget about going on a holiday for a week these guys would be dead so what have I learned I've learned to not put pomegranates in pots and I've learned not to uh, mess around with the Ben Hur and I've also learned the wonderful variety of pomegranate is the first choice before you mess around with these other ones now as for flavor I can't tell you guys I can't talk about flavor because um, I've only had one or two fruit from each of these and from my neighbors I had 30 fruit last year he said pick them all if you want and they were marvelous they weren't really sweet they were mild right they were just mild so now you know all about pomegranates here in the um, temperate zone I don't know how it works in the tropics they do really well up there as well but uh, that's for the guy who asked for the Ben Hur beautiful tree very attractive very um, upright not bushy the Elsh is more of a bushy round tree right so you've seen them all now thanks for watching guys hope you appreciated it share and like and we shall see you from the next video please subscribe to the channel too if you haven't and see you all bye bye oh it's just cooled down nice